senior players, Roger Powell, and he'll lead the side for the rest of the season. While the two new captains led their teams out in what turned out to be a pretty dour first 20 minutes, we pick up the action now with Newport leading by six points to nil, centre Jeff Howells having kicked two penalties, the referee for the match, Gareth Simmons of Tafswell, and we join our commentary team at the Knoll, Martin Williams and Phil Bennett. An interesting tactic. Beneath, two men in the line. Cambry and Mark Jones. Neath, driving over. Bridges. Paul Williams. Dangerous time for Callard. Where will the ball go? Newport under pressure. As Neath drive in. The whistle destroys the momentum. And again, a little bit of temperament being shown in close quarters. Neath have called the two-man because Waters has won most of the possession. And when they win this ball from the line-out, Paul Williams uses the narrow side and a delicate chip ahead, which puts the Neath pack and the players going forward. There he's up to knock it back. And well smothered in by Rendell. And Neath then try to go on the drive. There they are, driving in trying to rip the ball away from Newport, but Newport are down there and they've killed the movement. Well, that's a very sad sight indeed for young Mark Kembury on his debut for Neath, a member of the Welsh Under-19 team in New Zealand, having to retire. But it's Neath getting on with it. Bridges breaks. Patient as his forwards drive Newport back. Suddenly the ball goes loose. A penalty given. Lynn Jones can't believe it. And a tremendous forward drive by Neath. Tremendous scrimmage because you have to remember they're without Kembury. They're down to seven forwards, but they still drive in, and there's where they lose the ball just over the line. Lloyd Isaac is the replacement for Andrew Kembury. And Neath will have some problems now because that reduces their target lines up men this is Paul Thorburn with his first attempt of the afternoon Thorburn's kick the flags stay down so no points for Thorburn from his first attempt and Mark Kembley is replaced by Lloyd Isaacs Watkins, the restart is taken by Mark Jones, two-handed catch, as good as you see on any cricket field, and suddenly Neath are alive, Bridges, and it comes to Williams, to Steve Powell, and a thunder his way through, and it's anybody's guess where that ball is, on the far side, the try has been awarded, and it's Kevin Phillips. Kevin Phillips with the try in the middle of the melee. Somehow he got over. And just look for this catch from the kick out. There's Mark Jones, a brilliant take, two handed, driving in the, at the heart, but he still makes the ball available. Driving in the forwards is Isaacs, the sub on, and he lays it back perfectly. And you'll just watch here for the strength of Steve Powell. There he is, he sees there's no way in, but he drives in. And for me, he's about the strongest centre in Welsh rugby. And the All Blacks packs are there in numbers. Driving, mauling, driving and mauling. It's got to come. And there's Kevin Phillips, the international girl, forcing his way over a good try. It's not the most difficult kicks for Paul Thorburn. Slightly to the right of the post. And a bit of a breeze behind him. struck it well, the flags go up and all of a sudden the are on level terms with their visitors. Six all the score with seven minutes of the first half remaining. Canard with a position, Rendell controlling as he breaks, looking for support. And indeed does find some, but suddenly it's Jackson. Lynn Jones alongside, Jonathan Callard. The counter-attack is on. And the fullback making the most of that possession, with the ball going out to the full.
underneath under pressure since they're not for much height at the tail of the line out in fact they're swapping the men around mark jones has moved to the middle of the line out that time it's david waters of newport two-handed clean catch nigel callard under pressure watkins jonathan griffiths takes his first touch of the ball and he's taken and tackled by the newport captain roger powell right on the halfway line Lynn Jones thinks he may have seen sight of the ball. Indeed, it's Kevin Phillips, the try scorer. And it comes to Roland Phillips. Neath desperate to get this ball back to the halfbacks. But Newport doing some excellent salvaging work. Bodies taken out all over the place. Paul Williams. Howell took his eyes off the ball that time. Manley was through. And the chase by Jeff Howells. Bridges goes back for Neath. Good work by the youngster to his captain Paul Thorburn. But Neath under pressure. Glenn George leading the charge for Newport. And an excellent recovery by the Black and Ambers. complaining there that there's not enough vision of the tunnel. Joe Lewis has hooked it. And it's Newport possession. Watkins, the drop goal. Is it going to get there? Just about creep over. It's there. Colin Watkins, the drop goal. Good That's possession goal from the scrum. Watkins. And giving the outside half enough time to increase Newport's lead. And Newport had a solid scrum all afternoon. Sometimes slow ball coming back. But this time, it's good channel ball. Again, you see, rather slow. Not giving the outside half many options. So he decides to have a drop at goal. He strikes it well. Not as hard as he, as he would have liked, but there it is, just about going over, and it's over the crossbar. Two selectors present, the chairman on the left, Rod Borgen, alongside him, Rhys Williams, and alongside Rhys Williams, the new liaison officer for the Welsh Rugby Union, Denzel Lloyd. Penalty to Neath. For Williams. Looking for his forwards, but finding a bit of a break on there. Back inside, it comes to Colin Phillips. The drive on from Neath. Bridges to Mark Jones. In the outside half position. Jeremy Pugh picks up and walks forward. Bridges wakes. The delivery to Paul Williams. Richard Griffiths against the grain. There's a bit of a gap on the short side for Thorburn. Forburn looking back inside to Roland Phillips. The try has been awarded. Roland Phillips, the try scorer. Well, it seemed that they might have done the wrong thing, especially Richard Griffiths cutting back, but they found some space. And Roland Phillips ends up delighted with a try that regains the lead for Leith. Try scored by Roland Phillips. And you could have set up second and third fears from this, from this movement. But Richie Griffiths decides to cut right back in towards strength, looking for his forwards for support. And notice Thorburn coming up on the narrow side. Not a lot of space, but intelligently keeps the ball in play, flicking inside there. And like a good flank forward, there he is, Roland Ph Phillips, plowing his way over. And again, we see Thorburn does ever so well, not a lot of room, but looking for the inside pass. And there's Phillips grabbing the ball, showing strength and determination, plunking it down. That magnificent try by Roland Phillips in the corner went unconverted by Paul Thorburn, but what an interesting scoreline at half-time. Well, can Neath keep their 100% record? We'll soon find out as we rejoin the match now, way into the second half. The Neath hooker, Kevin Phillips, probably looking for Mark Jones in the middle. Jones getting a fingertip to it, but Callard and Newport have it. Watkins, Manley, against the grain, need support from the back row, it's there. Callard short side, is a bit of space here. Watkins up to Jonathan Callard, to Jason White, and suddenly an interception by Paul Williams, and the kick ahead by beneath outside Hunt. Bridges giving chase. And Bridges, superb tackle on Mark Batten. Kevin Phillips is there. And sets it up for the Welsh All Blacks, just outside the Newport 22. Bridges, Paul Williams, Powell, Griffiths, Corbin, 
Could Graham Davis on the far side? Has he got the speed to be batting? It's Graham Davis going all the way. Superb try by Graham Davis. That is neat at their best, but the touch judge has his flag up. And Bridges, who had followed up his own kick, brings off a superb tackle. And look who's there, Kevin Phillips. He's very, very quick for a hooker, one of the fastest in Wales. And the Neath Packer there in strength, trying to lay the ball back for the three quarters. And when it comes back, they move it because they know they've got a man on the outside. And it's nice passing. And there's the full back in and gives Graham Davis that extra yard. Now he shows tremendous pace. There he's going on the outside. Now keep a look out for his feet he's pretty near to the touchline he's got the measure of Khaled but there he's just been forced in there's the foot that's just gone into touch and he dies over what a shame for the neath winger short line out once again Jackson and Mark Jones in for Neath Waters gets a fingertip to it though Lynn Jones trying to clean up Paul Williams there wasn't much space there he's made the most of it Jason White tips the ball away to Jonathan Callard. Wayne Rendell. And to go around the corner and use the dummy. And away comes Gerald Lewis as well to batten. Batten up against Graham Davis. Batten grounded. Nigel Callard puts a boot in. Lloyd Isaac the replacement. <laughs> and suddenly this match is generating the pace that we expected. To Lynn Jones as a lineup man. Kevin Phillips on the receiving end of the return pass. Bridges to Jeremy Pugh. <laughs> and the fellow from Bill Falls makes his presence felt. And it's still the front row, Kevin Phillips. Now it's Bridges on the short side of Paul Williams to Mark Jones. Will he get there? A couple of meters to go. No frustration for me. Mark Jones held up short of the line. Are these indeed dangerous moments for the Newport 15. An important throw in this for Gerald Lewis. But that's been the story of the afternoon, really. Lewis to Waters, and Neath dominating that facet of the game. An excellent opportunity for Neath. Bridges with a feed, the drive from the Neath eight. Holding it steady. The control from Rowan Phillips. The number eight, despite having six on his back. The ball ends up rather untidily, unless they get it away cleanly. Lynn Jones squirming his way through. And he's got there. <laughs> well, it didn't seem possible. Well, a penalty award. So Newport going over the top. All manner of options open to Neath, but the decision of Thorburn is to go for three points. And here we can see again the drive, tremendous scrimmage in drive by Neath. There's the flick pass, and as he goes to go in there, drive through, you can see number 10 goes over, and does he go over the wrong side and kill the ball? This is a bit of an acute angle for Paul Thorburn. It's suddenly very still at the knoll. Forburn. It sounded good. It is good. It's three points. As Heath go into lead, 13 points to nine. Midway between the Neath 22 and the halfway line. Kevin Phillips with the throw. One of two farmers in the Neath pack. Newport have it, though. They've dominated the lines out. Howells, Manley. There's a chance of an interception on there, but Howells' is kick. Batten chasing. Thorburn is there, just in the nick of time.
So there's an opportunity for Newport, despite the fact that it's an e-throw-in. A matter of inches to the Welsh All Blacks try line. There they are, studs right on the try line. Kevin Phillips with the throw. To the middle of the line out. Newport seem to have it. Indeed, they do. And the man who gets hold of it is the man who has dominated the lines out, David Waters of Newport. Newport come back into this game with a vengeance. And Newport fully deserve this because they've dominated the line out through Waters. Look, he takes a two handed catch and he just falls over. Good try. Look, he snatches it from the Neath player, Jackson, and he just has to plonk it down over the line. He des he's deserved that. It's 13 all and 13 minutes left of this second half. Paul Williams, number 10. Jonathan Callard. Bridges is back there. Takes it cleanly. Ignores this outside half. But he's still going. As Neath crowd around, midway between the 22 and the halfway line. The kick is from Paul Williams. Jason White is underneath it. Callard to Lynn Jones with a bit of soccer dribbling. And through goes Jonathan Griffiths. Newport under pressure. Neath have it. It's Griffiths trying to drive towards the Newport line. What's the decision of Gareth Simmons? He didn't see it. So naturally, he is awarded a scrum five metres out. And we can see he's really putting the pressure on here. And good play by Griffiths, the right wing, because he's down there, tackling the centre. He's also picked the ball up on the burst. Now, he's a strong man who normally plays full-back, and he stays on his feet, waiting for the support to come. And here it comes in the form of the Newport back row driving in there, and he sees... But look at the position of the referee, excellent position, and he can't see the ball being grounded, and quite rightly, he's going to award a scrum five. Thirteen points all, but the pressure on Newport. Beneath salvage something out of this position. It's a great attacking position. They seem to be making heavy weather of getting the possession back. And suddenly it's Roland Phillips, one of the try scorers, and it's Lloyd Isaac, the replacement, who suddenly shoots out and crosses for the try, which puts Neath back into the lead. What a response to that try by David Waters. And what you have to remember in the scrum is that Newport have lost a great front row from last season through various reasons, but you can see the scrum has been wheeled and Neath keeping the pressure on, keeping the pressure on. Good play by Phillips, not panicking. And here he's picking up the ball, driving forward, staying on his feet, which is important. And eventually you'll see that Isaacs has got the ball up on three metres, he's over. And the scrum has been wheeled by Newport, but Phillips does very well to stay in his feet. Look, he will not go down, he's looking for support. There, the ball is made available yet again, driving on. And look at number 17, Isaacs, the sub. He's delighted, two or three metres ago, and he ploughs over. At the moment, it's 17 points to 13, but Thorburn makes absolutely no mistake with the conversion. 19 points to 13, Heath go into the lead. Lewis throws. And it's Kevin Phillips again. He really is a live wire in this Neath team. Jeremy Pugh, and here's another live wire, Lynn Jones. On the 22, Bridges gets it away to Paul Williams, to Richard Griffiths. And miss out a man. To Thorburn, back inside of Powell. Powell thundering in to Callard. And Neath guilty after the tackle of playing the ball. And after winning such a, an inviting position, surrendering it to the boot of Colin Watkins. <laughs> Two minutes of injury time played. And Neath quite content at the moment at least to hold on to this 19 points to 13 lead. Short line out. Waters against Jones. Glenn George making the most of it. Callard away to his outside half, Watkins to Manley. And suddenly, could the interception be on? Is Powell to Richard Griffiths? It's going to be a try for Richard Griffiths. 
that is it, victory for me. And you put desperate to run any kind of ball. Glenn George driving in. The support played rather slow in getting to it, but it does eventually come back on the Newport side. They've lacked a flair this afternoon behind the scrum, and there's the crucial mistake. Neath snap on it. Good play by uh, the power centre and the power. Gives Richie Griffiths the easiest task. 15 metres to go, and he ends up with a spectacular dive. And th the second phase ball is won, but the Newport backs. I've lacked a little bit of ideas and flair this afternoon, and then when he goes a kick, the ball goes out of his grasp, it snapped up the winger Davis, but look for good play by Powell, the centre, very unselfish, he might have gone in his own, but he's always looking for support on the inside, and Richie Griffiths has got the easy task, really, just gritting his teeth, putting his head back, and ending up with a spectacular dive underneath the post. The try scored by Richard Griffiths and Paul Thorburn had absolutely no problems with the conversion to give Neath a comfortable win at the Knoll, 25 points to 13. Not the electrifying uh, display that we saw from the Arms Park last Saturday, but they won.